now is Sunday, start of the new vlog. This is gonna bleed in from my September rereading vlog into my Trick or Treater Thon vlog. Vlog? Vlog. I'm almost done with Vampire's Portland. I think I'm like 82% of the way through. It's a three. It's a solid three. It's not it's not terrible, but there are just a lot of things going on. They tried to mix science in with fantasy. They tried to mix science with fantasy and then didn't bring it up for the rest of like, the book. I couldn't tell if it was an omniscient point of view, like a narrator, until uh, around 77% of the way through when the narrator, who hasn't interjected up until this point, interjected and like in parentheses and was like, yeah, I don't know either. He's confusing me and I'm the narrator and I'm just like, but why? It's getting to like the climactic point where we're hearing about everything and all the things are coming together and we're hearing about all of these things that the kids didn't know because Leona's never taught them and it's just a lot of information dumping and I'm just like it's a good book it's like it's not terrible it's not amazing either it's just like right in the middle and I feel like editor could have gone through and gave it a couple more drafts and maybe just changed a couple things and made it a little bit more palatable almost because right now there's just a lot going on and it's like a little confusing to really sit down and read about it and then try to keep everything in order because now Percival has to die because Roger ate a crow because the crow was a Becerra even though they weren't taught that and it, it's just a lot and I truly don't know what's going on anymore and I'm just gonna finish the book hopefully tonight before bed and I just it's a three star unless something happens in the next like 18 percent it's a three star without a doubt it's a three star but i need to finish editing this video it's gonna go up um hopefully tonight depending on whether or not the cc kicks in if not then it'll go up tomorrow at this point it's just gonna be like vlogs will either come out sunday or monday and then i'll go from there but right now i need to work on that so so someone decided to reorganize her shelf Zuh. And she's having a moment. She doesn't... I don't know where to begin. <laughs> There's so much and I want to go by genre. But it's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Why do you exist? Do you need to have another oh no moment? No, I'm good. You sure? Yep. You sure? I don't know where the book to start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want to reread these, so these are definitely... Okay. Did you read this series yet? It's really good. Not yet. Wait, really? I want to. I thought that you read this. Or I mean, it's. You just googled it. I think I googled it. I mean, it's like paranormal vampires written by a Filipino author. Filipino author, and also what's super cool about these guys is that they're not written the same way that vampires. Yeah, you are, told me about that. Which is really great. Same with House of Night because these guys are more like witchy. Do you want to tell my lovely paranormal loving romance friend TB to what books to read next? Because he's. This one. That's Blue Buds. And this one. And that's House of Night. And all of there. Hey friends, it is now Monday night. It is 6 p.m. I got done from work. I'm back in the office. Just got done filming my TBR for Trick or Treatathon. I unfortunately have a very, very long week ahead of me. I'm planning on finishing my third draft tonight. That is my goal for tonight and finish that. I need to finish Sweep before the end of the month, which is on Wednesday, which I feel like I should. I'm like almost halfway through the book and that was just from me reading it at lunch today and then I have to set up my bullet journal my new bullet journal and set up October as well and I have until like Friday to do that I will not be able to vlog I'll try to vlog a little bit Friday night but Friday night and then most of Saturday I will not be able to vlog which is weird because it's the beginning of my no I'll be able to vlog Thursday ha huh. but yeah, those two days I'll be kind of a little bit busy, but I will try to throw some vlogging content up in there, but I'm hoping to finish a lot of this stuff by this week. I have decided my October theme, which is going to be like clocks and gears and time, because what's scarier than time right now? But yeah, I have a lot to do. I'm going to definitely finish my draft by tonight. I only have like a couple more paragraphs left, but you know, tired. And then tomorrow it's editing, which shouldn't be too bad because it's just a TBR and those I can typically cut out a lot. After that, it's bullet journal stuff. I have to finish my current bullet journal, but I can 
sort sort of put that off until like a little bit like next week or something but i do need to finish this new bullet journal and get that done now i'm gonna go take a shower because it's been a little warm here in where i live not terribly warm but we've reached the point where it's like it's cold in the morning so you have to bring a sweater or wear long sleeves and then by the afternoon you're boiling hot and then I also filmed. I had to had the, have the lights on a little brighter so that way I could have the ISO lower and it won't be as grainy. I hope. So I'll catch up with you guys when I am writing or working on my bullet journal. Whichever one. I don't like that. <laughs> I'll go. She fell in love with the virus. I'm done. Is this what the government is doing? <laughs> So, Why? I was on Twitter and someone Why? shared this screen- Of course she's white too. <laughs> and someone scared, shared this screenshot of this book that came out in April. It's an indie um, romance erotica book and it's kissing the coronavirus. And it's about this doctor who was meant to cure coronavirus but she fell in love with it. And the, one of the lines is it's a viral erotica. And yeah, my sister it's gonna be viral because she's gonna give it to people. <laughs> and my sister thought it was like, oh you know, she fell in love with a doctor and you know gave up like her ability to, like her chance to cure coronavirus for his love. And I was like, no, it's the actual COVID. And she's like, no, it's a patient. And I was like, look it up again. And she <laughs> I think I broke her. This can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> This is worse than the Alice in Wonderland erotica. Are you kidding me? That would have been better. Lewis Carroll literally screws Alice. I'm okay with that. Because Granted, they're, that the they're, they're aged up, so they're like adults. But, but isn't that the reality that Alice in Wonderland was written because he liked this one little girl? Yeah. I mean, the way, age gap of it. If anything, they're just writing something legally now. You go live. I finished draft three. I finished draft three. Oh, I'm so happy. I've already gotten two big things done off my to-do list for the week. I finished Vampires of Portlandia and I finished draft three. I'm so excited. <laughs> fixed my lighting issue for the past couple months if you guys haven't noticed I've been having some lighting issues which makes no sense because I got the camera this new camera and it was fine and then I tried messing with the lighting a little bit like mainly like ISO just so I don't have like bright lights on me all the time and then it got all screwed up and I, I think I think I finally fixed it to where I don't have to worry about it but we'll find out <laughs> in post as we as we tend to do. Well, I'll watch this clip back in a little bit. I just to put, plug it into my computer so I can see better. But by the looks of it, don't mind me getting this little camera. Just making sure it's like not grainy in the background here because every time I try to um, edit, it's like super grainy. Just kind of like the background, like in the white areas here, it gets super grainy. So that means when I do a lift on the color, like in post, it ends up super grainy everywhere else. It's very difficult, very difficult to film. But it is now Tuesday, 
as you guys saw, I had lunch in my car eating McDonald's and reading. I realized I didn't get you guys much of an update last night on the book. The book's okay. It Actually, it's really good. <laughs> I'm lying. This is why it's one of my favorite series. It's such a, it's such a good book. And it does play a little bit on like the whole like girl choosing boy over friend. But I guess in this case, it's pretty much like va like valid because her best friend literally left her out in the cold to be like, yeah, no, you can walk home. Just because she seemed to be getting, she wanted to be with the boy and like they didn't have a proper conversation with it. And now best friend is kind of being really bitchy and not so much a best friend. So I forget how they talk it out in the books. But I know that they do talk it out and they get better again after Boyley's picture, but yeah. I really liked how it's been framed so far. I think that it's a very interesting way of telling the story with like the beginning having diary entries from different characters and you don't really know which character is which unless they are signed. We also learned that Morgan, the main character, is an actual blood witch, which in this term of phrase is a witch who was born, who has witch, whose ancestors were witches and not a witch witch who as we see um in today particularly like on like tiktok it's become a big thing like those who kind of pick up wicca but they are the ones who like but she's like has the family who has practiced wicca over and over again throughout the centuries and we also learn that she is adopted which is why she stands out from her family so much and why she doesn't necessarily fit in with her family so it makes a lot of sense because i was griping on this when i first started reading this book because, like, I, I had I had mentioned that it was, like, oh, yeah, it's playing on the fact that she's not, like, everyone else, blah, 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 blah. And, like, in some cases, it does continue on with the trope by being, like, oh, yeah, you're a witch kind of situation. Uh, it does play on that scenario, but it also makes sense because she's literally adopted. So there's a, re there's a logical reason why she does not fit in with her family, and that's because she is biologically not part of that set of genes. I am currently... Ooh... I think I'm about halfway through. So my hope is I don't think I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. I think I'm probably going to end up finishing it by Thursday, which is fine because I'll be starting um, The Beautiful as well. So I'll finish that, bleed into The Beautiful, and then also uh, add in Golden Fury because I have not finished that or even started said arc. So busy, busy time. Um, Today I am going to probably spend most of my night editing my TBR. It shouldn't be a terribly long video uh i think the raw footage was like 20 minutes long which sounds like a lot but by the time i'm done like editing and knocking everything down it's really not that much it'll probably be like maybe 15 minutes if i'm lucky i mean i get to cut out a chunk of um what i said because in this one i mentioned that i was going to be reading the ebook for after ever uh, after ever happy and I finished that book yesterday, so we can cut that entire like five minute spiel out, which should knock it down to at least like 15 minutes raw. So I will catch up with you guys when I get a chance to talk a little bit more and read or write. I think even after I'm done working on this video and it's exporting, I'm probably going to be either reading or working on um, my bullet journal. I don't know if I showed you guys, I don't think I did. But I started working on the um, spreads that I'm currently backlogged on, which is like from July to now. And I started working on the clap when you land spread that I meant to work on a while ago. I'm liking how it looks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably going to finish that tonight. And then I'm going to spend the rest of my night well, waiting for CC and such and panicking over my thumbnail. But I'm also going to start looking at other spreads I can start use I can get so I can do my new bullet journal and get the, most of that squared away turns out my weekend's gonna be very busy so i don't know how it happened but i'll try to vlog you guys along yeah but i will catch up with you guys when i'm done and i'm reading or i'm working on my bullet journal or the 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 sky falls i don't know yeah so i don't know how to, if you can tell how smoky it is from my phone camera but that is the sun uh at 5 p.m on a wednesday afternoon and typically with that sun there are mountains like where's my finger like right behind it and you can see it and there is nothing hey friends it is now wednesday afternoon i just got home from work I did get some rain then during my lunch break i'm almost done with the book i i really like it i forget how like quickly the sweep series works and it's not as clunky as balefire reads i think balefire was a book before sweep it's also wild to me 
when this was written because it mentions that the main character, what's her name, Morgan, was born in 1989. So technically by now she's like 30, like in her 30s, and I'm just like, wow, wild. But I'm like I said, I'm hoping to finish it. Let me just set you down so it's easier to talk and stuff. I finally hit the last book during lunchtime today. Like I said, it's such a quick read. It's not even a problem for me to get through. And I'm like this far, this this much left. So I'm hoping that I'll finish it tonight. The game plan for tonight is have to put laundry away because I need clothes to bring with me on Wednesday. And by clothes, I mean like pajamas and like things to wear after, but that's it. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. I have to put laundry away because I have to pack tomorrow. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. You said for Wednesday. Oh. For Friday. I have to pack for Friday, but I can do that probably Thursday night when I'm packing. Finish the book because I'm going to finish that tonight. Take Instagram pictures. Which shouldn't be too bad. I have TBR figured out for um, October. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave it linked down below. Trick or Treatathon starts in less than five hours. It, at least for the West Coast, it starts in less than five hours. Same thing with Preptober, which is gonna be like NaNoWriMo's like preparation month before the actual NaNoWriMo. So I have to start doing that, but not this week. No, probably not until the middle of next week. And then, I have to work on my bullet journal. I think what I'm going to do is start my October spread, like spread, well, I have to figure out the spreads I want to include in the overall bullet journal setup. But the plan is, once I finish that, is to start the October spreads, get those done before I, the end of the week, and then next week, I'll go back and finish my, um, my, my new bullet journal. That is the plan. And also finish my old bullet journal, but that is neither here nor there. And then, also watching YouTube videos. I'm planning on watching a lot of the TBRs that had gone up, not only from the hosts, but from the people who are participating as well. So I'm very excited to be commenting on those. But right now, I need to put laundry away. And also just like enjoy how, how cute I look. But yeah, I will update you guys when I do things. But update, it is now almost 10 o'clock on Wednesday. I didn't finish my bullet journal. <laughs> Oops. I did do the entire, I did do all of my um, October spreads and sketch that out in terms of just like the setup. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to doodle everything. I decided on a theme, more so my sister decided for me because she was like, it's simple, it's easy, you can get it done quickly, and it's spooky. And I'm doing like cute little ghosts. So keep an eye out on my Instagram page for my stories because I will be boasting, boasting, posting, I will be posting. A flip through of October when I finish that and then posting my theme on um, my page I would try to go to bed right now but also I'm back to like an 8 to 5 kind of scenario and I always feel like whenever I do an 8 to 5 schedule I don't have enough time in my night to do anything else because I get home at like 5 30 I like give me an hour to unwind take a shower and all that stuff and then like sometimes I have to cook I cook dinner sometimes and then it's like chores and like other things and then by the time that I'm done it's like 10 and I'm like where did my night go I'm not a fan of like 8 to 5 for that specific reason I feel like for some reason 7 to 4 I get done and then it's like I have like the extra like two hours that I can get finish so much stuff on so I'm probably gonna stay up for like another hour reading I'm hoping to finish this book tonight so I can start it for trick-or-treat-a-thon tomorrow <laughs> so it's basically it for my night now I'm gonna go wash my face and read for the rest of the night and hopefully finish this book so I can start the beautiful and golden fury tomorrow but I will catch up with you guys when I'm reading
it is now Friday night also, the first day of Trick or Treatathon. Happy first day. Super excited to be hosting. I didn't get a chance to read a ton of the beautiful. I didn't read a chance. I didn't get a chance to read any of the beautiful today. I was hoping to have finished Sweep by lunch, but sadly I had to buy lunch today and didn't have a ton of time. So I just finished it like literally a couple seconds ago. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't get through the books like I wanted to this month. Primarily because I forget that in the third book, we meet Hunter, Hunter Nile, who later becomes the love, in the main love interest for Morgan after stuff happens with Cal. And in this third book, we see him as a protagonist because he seems kind of like really shitty and we don't know a ton about his background until like basically up until the end where you think he dies, but he doesn't die. I forget how much I love Hunter. Not because he's a bad boy, actually. He's actually like the sweetest human you could ever meet in this entire book franchise. Like one of the best witches out there. And it's also, he is Morgan's soulmate. And unlike most soulmate issues, like with Cal and Morgan, Morgan falls in love with Cal pretty quickly. With Hunter and Morgan, it's like a weird enemies to lover situation but it also wasn't it was a situation where morgan just didn't know a lot and she was kind of following what people said and then um she learned the truth and then she kind of disliked hunter because it was like you showed me the truth and i'm not happy with it but i'm listening to you now and they slowly become friends and then they feel things for each other and then they become a couple and i love hunter i think hunter was my let's just put it in in vampire diaries speak when i first started watching vampire diaries i really adored damon Damon would be the cow in the situation. And then as I kind of like went through the seasons, I was like, you know, Damon doesn't do it for me anymore. It's just too much, too toxic, at least in the relationship that he was portrayed with Elena. And I started to fall a bit more for Stefan. And this is literally the situation with Cal and Hunter. I love Hunter to tears. He is amazing, amazing, amazing. He's this wonderful English boy. And he's been through a lot. And I wish, because like, I thought I forgot that Hunter pops in in the third book. I thought he popped in in like the second the second bind up, not the first one. So to have him pop up in the second bind up, in the first bind up, I was like, oh shit. Because now I want to just keep reading it until we learn more about Hunter and we get wonderful descriptions about his beautiful hair and his wonderful accent and his pretty green eyes. But here we are. No Hunter. <laughs> I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a. I'm gonna give it a five. I love this series. It's gonna be one of my favorite series no matter what. Definitely, I feel like I would give it a four. Just like, again, it's gonna be the same situation with Balefire where I gave it a little bit extra. Actually, no, I would give it a four point five because there are definitely instances where it's very much pitched against um, girls and girls like fighting against the boy and I wasn't I'm not a fan of that per se but you know sometimes it does happen so I'm gonna give it a 4.5 but I'm gonna round it to an actual 5 because of um, nostalgia and I really like it I feel like there are a lot of lessons that I pulled as a kid I like a 16 a very lost 16 year old who just didn't feel like she fit in with her family didn't feel like she really just kind of fit in anywhere and felt very much like Oh, one second. Felt very plain. I felt very plain when I was younger. I, like everyone, very much so in that situation was very, so much like pointing out the fact that I was very flat. I'm a bored. Um, and that I was just like, I, I didn't have any like defining features I felt that really stood me out against like not so much other girls. But just in general, you know, I was very okay with just kind of like fitting in in like the shadows and being a wallflower and like that changed Clearly I'm talking to a camera to like seven. What is it now? 700 of you almost 800 maybe of you guys about my feelings and my past <laughs> So clearly things have changed but definitely when I was 16 I can see how situations like this really um, clung to me and why I really identified with Morgan as I kind of grew up. At least in that situation where I just didn't feel like I really fit in. I didn't really feel like I belonged. Um, I was struggling with my faith, which TBH, I still do. But that's just kind of the nature of the beast. And I was very much like, very blinded with the idea of that someone could really like me. Because like I said, I was very much like a 
bookworm. I didn't really talk to anyone that wasn't like my close circle of friends. I didn't have that confidence. So I can see why Morgan really appealed to me and why the concept of this dark, mysterious boy really appealed to me as well. That might have been... That might have been where my life for bad boy started, actually. Because I read this before I read The Night World. I mean, there was also Twilight, I think. I think Twilight also had something to do with that. I mean, like, I didn't see Jacob as a bad boy when I was reading the books. I just like Jacob. It makes something about Edward wrote me the wrong way. But, that's besides the point. So yeah, I think this is where that started. So thank you, Cal Blair, for igniting my love for bad boys. And then thank you, Hunter Nile, <laughs> for getting me to realize that. You know what, I think I'm gonna go with like the safe option and just like have someone who supports me unconditionally and like, you know, all that fun stuff. But I am going to go work on my bullet journal. I doubt I'll have it, I'll have October finished by tonight. I doubt it, cause I have a ton of, I still have quite a handful of things, not a, not a ton of things to do. I got a lot of it done, I just have to pack um, for stuff. And then, yeah. But I'm gonna try to work on my bullet journal. I have like another hour to work on my October stuff. I Like I said, I doubt I'll be done in an hour. I just have to pick up like colors still and everything, but I should have a chunk of it done and then I'll come in later. But yeah, I will also try to vlog tomorrow and Saturday. I don't know if I will get a ton of vlogging in, but I will chat with you guys tomorrow. Yeah. it is now Sunday I'm just here to wrap up the vlog as you guys could probably tell didn't get a chance to vlog a lot past weekend I was actually pretty busy and you know away from the thing that I used to vlog which is my phone so that happened but I did get a chance to read quite a bit I am now a quarter of the way through the beautiful and about 10% of the way through a golden fury which I started and since this is focused much more on trick-or-treat-a-thon and not so much the arcs that I'm reading I am um What's the word? I'm gonna talk about the beautiful. I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. Um, not that I hate Renee Adia's writing style. I actually really prefer like kind of the flowery writing style and see how authors either give you a ton of information and with little to no, like leaving little to no for imagination and seeing how they either have that work for them or it works against them, or if they put a lot of flowery details and still have like still give you the ability to have some for your imagination because that's perf that's how I write so I like seeing how other writers do it my my biggest worry going into it was just that I would struggle reading through it because that was my biggest deal with Flame in the Mist and while it's not like a situation where like her writing style is like a big thing for me 
uh, sometimes like you know writing cells just genuinely don't work for a person who's reading it and that was my biggest issue was just because like if it was super slow because it was too flowery then i was like oh but i'm really enjoying it so far not to imply that like her writing style has drastically changed since i last read flame in the mist but that i think that the storyline and where the story is going is a bit more palatable i guess i think flame in the mist had a lot of like nuances that she was trying that i didn't enjoy but i'm liking this one a bit more but i'm only 25 percent of the way through for a golden fear i'm only 10 percent of the way through and maybe it was because i was reading it when i was like in public kind of just like waiting for some for um an event to start a small event very socially distant event like very safe wearing masks trying to you know be safe about it i was waiting for something to start and i like started reading it it, it started in media res which sometimes works but the problem is she didn't explain a lot of the situation that was happening while things were happening so I just kind of sat there like I don't know the tension, I don't understand the uh, the mother-daughter dynamic, I don't understand a lot, so I'm just like, huh. But hopefully it gets better as the story progresses, but I'll keep you guys updated. But that is it for this vlog. I actually did it quite a lot. I finished two books, I finished my whip, I just now have to finish my bullet journal for October, which probably won't happen until the middle of the week, and finish my bullet journal in general, because I have to start my bullet journal setup for the new journal and finish setups for the old journal. If you guys like this video, hit like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye!